Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. If you're trying to clean up your iMessage app drawer and get rid of those iMessage games or apps that you no longer use, you might have noticed that things have changed with iOS 17. It's no longer as straightforward as it used to be, but don't worry, I'll walk you through how to do it. First, let's talk about how iMessage apps work. Many of these apps are tied to regular iPhone apps, meaning they have a standalone version you can use outside of iMessage and an integrated version that appears within the iMessage app drawer. For example, an app like Dropbox has its full version for your iPhone, and it also has an iMessage extension that lets you share files directly through your messages. In previous versions of iOS, you could remove these iMessage apps directly from the Messages app itself. However, with iOS 17, this option is no longer available. If you want to delete an iMessage app that is connected to a regular app on your iPhone, like Dropbox, you'll need to delete the entire app from your device. This means that both the full app and its iMessage extension will be removed. But if you don't want to lose the full app and only want to manage its iMessage functionality, there's another way. You can do this through the Settings app. Here's how. First, open the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to select Messages. From there, find and tap on the iMessage Apps section. In this menu, you'll see two categories, Only in Messages and Included with an app. The Only in Messages section lists apps that exist solely within iMessage. These are the ones that don't have a standalone version outside of iMessage. The Included with an app section lists apps that have both a full version and an iMessage extension. You can easily enable or disable the iMessage extension for any app from this menu without deleting the full app from your iPhone. This allows you to keep the main app while disabling its iMessage functionality if you don't want it cluttering your Messages app. It's a simple way to keep things tidy without losing access to the apps you use. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving it a thumbs up. See you guys later.